Don't address me unless it's four letters at Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, Russell Westbrook is a fucking G. Like, he's a legend. He, he's, his outfits are out of control. And of course, he decided to fucking, you know, wear something that was uh, unique, non-traditional. Uh, he, he's just looking great. Like, I don't know what else to, I don't know what else to say about it other than that. Hassan, and of course, of up. course, every single fucking white kid that wears like crusty ass champion gym shirts or shorts for like three weeks in a row. They're like, oh my God, yo, this is sus. Yo, shit is gay, bruh. Sus, 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 bruh. I feel like the the dress is too long. This like I, I think it'd be better if it was like shorter. I don't know. There's like something about it that I I, I feel like it's a little long. But other than that, it's whatever. I mean, who cares? Can't stop, won't stop. Bring on the politics. Uh, can we be honest about how this doesn't look good? This is the only part of the fit where it like looks uh, decent, but yeah, I, I just, I feel like the hips are too low. Like unless he has like a, the longest upper body on the planet. I don't know. There's something about it that doesn't sit right. Like the dress doesn't sit right on him. But I think other than that, it's like, it's fucking great. Not nah, supposed to be that way, but I feel you. Wait, really? Has anyone checked in on Boozy? Like, how's he feeling about all this? That's who I want to hear from. I love this shit, man. Listen, like, Russell Westbrook is a fucking massively talented. Awesome fucking dude. Him doing stuff like this is good. Ultimately moving towards like androgynous clothing uh, will also, you know, motivate kids to express themselves in different ways without fear. You know what I mean? And it's great. I loved it when Young Thug did it. Uh, I, I love it when uh, Russell Westbrook does it. Especially because, like, you know, it, I mean, there are there are some like very outspoken uh, celebrities that are just like openly homophobic. Now, don't get me wrong; there are plenty of fucking white homophobic actors and shit too, and and we clown on them regularly. Happy one year. Uh, and I do think that we hyper focus whenever there's like black celebrities that are homophobic. Because, you know, it's another tendency to just like, it, it's a reactionary tendency to be like, look at this marginalized community. They're being so conservative. Finally, I mean, that's crazy, right? It's like, chat. well, bitch, so are you. Like, it's often conservatives that are criticizing other marginalized groups for their conservatism. They're just doing conservatism. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, I've I've seen I've seen this like boozy keeping track of gay shit. Anyway, the black community is majority socially conservative. Black people would never co-sign a black man in a dress. Like, that's not even fucking day. true, dude. That's just false. That is just a falsehood. Yes, there are a lot of, like, social... There's a lot of social conservatism amongst the, the, the black community as well. But that's just not, like, 
You're just wrong, dude. The white dudes telling a uh, majority white chat about how I was on the CEO of black people type that. Anyway. Conservatives of every fucking background, color, and creed are always just unable to shut the fuck up, okay? So it creates a false notion amongst you, like a, a false sense of uh, what a particular community is like if you have no fucking understanding of said community. If you're not around black people at all, you don't have fucking black friends, you hear the loudest goddamn voices and you think, well, this is how all black people think. Must be. You know what I mean? It's just, oh, well, it's a monolith. Nine eleven on TikTok hits different. Oh, I watched this already. Dude, there is this new Instagram account. I, hey, I, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. 